Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in my kitchen today and I'm going to be sharing with you five easy Christmas crock pot meals for you to use during the holidays. It doesn't just have to be Christmas, it could be for New Year's too. These are just going to be some appetizers, a few desserts, snacks, and some overnight breakfast recipes you can use in your crock pot so you can wake up on Christmas morning and they are done for you. Make sure to subscribe and get ready for some New Year's resolution videos coming your way soon. I will see you at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. All right guys, for this first recipe, we are making Christmas crack. All you need is three bags of white chocolate chips. I like to put a liner in the crock pot because chocolate is a mess to clean, but I'm basically just gonna let this sit for an hour, making sure to stir it every 15 minutes so that it doesn't burn. You can add in pretzels. I'm just gonna throw in a couple of handfuls. I will put all the measurements down below. I'm gonna add in about a cup of peanuts. Stir it all around to make sure everything gets nice and coated. I'm gonna throw in Cheerios. Um, my kids love Cheerios, so it's a staple cereal that I have. I'm gonna throw in a cup. I'm also gonna throw in a cup, actually I'm gonna throw in two cups of rice squares and then two cups of corn squares. This is the best part for me when it comes to eating anything trail mix. I love the Chex Mix part. Again, stir it all around to get everything coated with the white chocolate. I'm actually throwing in more pretzels. The great thing about this is that you can just add in whatever you want and you don't have to be very precise on the measurements. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. I've mixed in everything and the chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bag out, let it cool on a pan, and once it's cooled, I'll mix in a little bit of the M&Ms. I don't wanna mix in the M&Ms when it's really hot, because then they're just gonna start melting. <gasps> what? Hi, can we hold you? <laughs> Now that my trail mix is pretty much cooled, I'm gonna throw in my M&Ms. I'm using the whole bag for the entire recipe. It's plenty, there's no need to buy two bags unless you really love chocolate. Give it a good stir again. Try to make sure it really is cooled. I probably should have waited another five minutes or so. A little bit of mine started melting, but it's all good. It still tastes wonderful. But now I'm gonna cover it in powdered sugar. Again, add as much as you want. If you want it really coated, go for two cups. If you just want a little bit, go for one cup. But I like to put it in a big Tupperware and just shake it. You can also do this in a Ziploc bag. All right, and it's done. Some of my chocolate chips started melting, but it's okay. I poured it back out, I'm gonna let it dry on a pan for a while. The second recipe I'm going to show you is French toast. This is also kind of like monkey bread in a way, um, but I just picked a sourdough bread. You can use stale bread that you have at home. You can buy like Italian bread, any type of bread will do, but basically you're just gonna cut them into one inch strips. I ended up going with one inch squares to make it more like monkey bread, but you're just gonna cut up the entire loaf, do as much as you want, and you're gonna put them in a large bowl. Now you are going to take six eggs and put them into a bowl. 
make sure to whisk them together so that they are evenly spread. I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. If you want to add more, that is fine. And now I'm gonna add in two cups of milk. Whisk it all together. Make sure to get the cinnamon rubbed in or mixed in. Now, what you are going to do is pour this all over your bread mixture. You can start around if you'd like, but you actually need to let this soak overnight or place in the fridge for about four hours. So now I'm going to throw in a mixture of raisins, pecans, brown sugar and butter and this is going to be my topping so I'm just using a handful of raisins I'm gonna throw in a teaspoon of cinnamon for the top one cup of brown sugar and I'm going to throw in about a half a cup of pecans The recipe calls for half a cup of melted butter. I actually ended up throwing a whole cup of butter because why not? It tastes <laughs> really great. Um, but you're actually gonna end up pouring this on top of the bread once it has had time to soak in the fridge overnight or for four hours minimum. Make sure to spray your pan, uh, the pot very well so that it doesn't stick but you can see that the bread has absorbed pretty much all of the egg mixture. And you are going to cook this on low overnight, eight to 10 hours. Okay, it's complete, it cooked overnight. Okay. Looks yummy. Fish. All right, this third recipe is cranberry meatballs. Um, you need to make sure you spray your pot, but this is probably a popular one that you've seen at luncheons, at work maybe, at parties. You eat the meatballs on toothpicks. Um, that's the most popular way I've seen them. You can also just have this with rice, but my family loves it. Um, I love eating this at parties. I always go for these. So I'm mixing together a can of cranberry sauce. Yes, like the cranberry sauce from Thanksgiving. And then a whole jar of Heinz chili sauce. And I'm gonna mix this together. The cranberry sauce, you can actually microwave for about 30 seconds, stir, 30 more seconds, stir until it becomes more of a liquid. And you can combine the two. Now, if you want to give it a more tangy flavor, go ahead and add two tablespoons of orange juice. I'm just eyeballing it here, but this is gonna give it a little bit more of a tangy flavor. Pour this on top of your frozen meatballs. Now, this is my Instant Pot, but I am not using Instant Pot setting. I am going to be using the slow cooker setting. I know people will comment down below using the slow cooker button. Same thing as a crock pot. Mine has cooked for four hours and been sitting for almost an hour. And they are done. Smell delicious too. The next recipe is Christmas candy. And this is very popular. I'm choosing to use white almond bark for the Christmas effect. You can also use dark. Um, chocolate, but I'm gonna throw in almond bark, a package of white um, chocolate chips, and peanuts is basically the only thing for this recipe. I'm gonna be using a whole jar. I'm going to let this sit for a whole entire hour on high. I'm not going to touch it for about an hour. But then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stir it and make sure all of my peanuts are getting coated in my chocolate. Once this is done, you can start creating your candy. Just lay out wax paper on a baking sheet. And I'm just gonna give a spoonful of white chocolate and peanuts and let it sit. I chose Christmas candy for this and let it dry.
The last recipe is my favorite. This is breakfast casserole. I'm gonna spray my pot very well. And I'm gonna start by layering hash browns on the bottom. And then right before this, I cooked some pan sausage, like breakfast sausage. I'm just gonna throw in a layer of that. And I'm gonna top it with some cheddar cheese. This would be a great time to chop up some onion bell peppers like I did and layer that in here. I, however, forgot, so I just lay them on the top. But throw in peppers here if you want, but that is one layer. And you're just gonna repeat this layer one to two more times depending on how much you have. So I'm gonna repeat hash browns, meat, cheese. If you don't wanna use sausage, you could use bacon here um, instead. It's gonna look pretty full, but now I am putting my peppers uh, again. I should have done them in my layers, completely forgot. So I'm just throwing them on top, but it's okay. It turned out great. But I'm gonna add some dill weed. I'm gonna actually do a whole entire teaspoon. I'm gonna give a cup of milk, and this is whenever I'm gonna crack 12 eggs whole dozen eggs with lots of salt and pepper. Um, but once I crack my eggs, I'm gonna whisk it together really, really well. You don't want your eggs to stay whole. You want them to be very, very runny at this point. Now pour it all over what you have in your pot. And you're gonna cook it on low all day for about eight to 10 hours. All right, it's been cooking all day. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys. That looks good. I'm just gonna mess it up a little. Cause it sets, hey. All right, I'm just messing up the top layer. Cause it sits all day and it starts to look not great, but it's gonna be good. All right, y'all, and that is it. I'm gonna serve this with hot sauce. I even have some corn tortillas you could throw it on. Um, but on um, Christmas morning, it's just really good by itself with some orange juice. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas, New Year's, holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you have a wonderful end of 2019. Let's start off 2020 on the right foot. I'm gonna be starting a new January series. Not sure what to call it yet. Not sure what to call it yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know. It's gonna be about saving money, time, everything that I do, but I gotta go. My kids are about to kill each other, so I'll see y'all again next time. Bye, everyone.